Hey there guys, OGM here, welcome you back to Ukulele. So guys, in the last episode, we did the whole entire left side of the casino, and today everyone, today, we are going to go and probably do Kartos and a bit more. So if you guys ready for this, we've not been in here yet. But hello, there's another little piggy. Hello little piggy, how are you? Pay no mind, peasant. I am on official night business, and I need no help from a common lizard. Wow, you said the exact same thing as the other one. You're rude. Very rude. But more important than that, I've got this. Spin this one, and... What's this going to do? Is it regular, or is it going to mess with me? It's probably going to mess with me, but I'm going to try it anyway. So here we go. Melon, jump, and smash. It flips back and forth. Okay, that's not that bad. All right, so here we go. Ready... Wait for the melon, wait for the melon, wait for the melon, jump and smash. I got. The, how did I get the banana? I jumped on the melon. Is it going slower than regular? It might be going slower than it regular does. That might be why. Hold on, let's just wait for it to go slow then. So we'll jump on. Yeah, it was going slower because it kind of snapped back into Yuka and Laylee. That's totally what it was doing. But all right, here we go. So we've got to jump on the bone guy this time. There we go, perfect. And now it's actually going fast. So now if I go on the melon, it should work out normal. Here we go, jump, and done, perfect. Molly Cool, hello. I still love that little jingle. Dude, the jingles in this game are so good. I love them. And also, hello, Dr. Puzz. How are you, madam? Still lugging that big laser around, Doc? I thought you would have scaled down by now. Indeed, there's still plenty of work to be done on that awful capital B remains at large. Speaking of which, I've made a big breakthrough in my incredible DNA ray. Uh, the transformation is simply spectacular. Have you found the world's molecule yet? I actually have. I just found it. Like, literally just now. Right over there. You, could, you almost saw me, right? Tokens in hand, Doc. Let's see with some science. Remarkable. Just stand over there in front of my DNA ray, and I'll take care of the rest. All right, Doc. We'll do that, girl. Just go ahead and go zappy zap zap. Make all of my molecules get split and then go ahead and like basically kill me. It's fine. I don't need my life. Not at all. All right, Laylee, tell me no, but I know what this power is and I love this power. Here we go, guys. The helicopter. Whoops, that's not how it looked in the manual. Yeah, Dr. Puzz. We are the chopter. I love it. The helicopter is probably one of my favorites, but more important than that, these little blue ones. Boom, they're dead. But also, they give you corn still. So you need to get all of them. There are a total of 10. So keep that in mind. This makes number two right here. Come on, let me through. Let me through. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't. I mean, I know because things were still disappearing, but I mean, come on. Just let me through. Just let me through. Also, Piggy, hello. Hello there, don't mind me. I'm just, Amy, uh, I'm just admiring the carpet design. Oh. It's that commentary taxi service for knights. Can you help me out? Yes, guys, this is what the knights actually want. You know how each level has that one specific, like, little uh, thing that you need to do? This is what this level has. The pigs are the power-up need molecule. That made no sense now that I'm saying it out loud. You need the molecule for the pigs in this level, just like I did it for the flowers, and then the rocks, and then you need the piranhas to go ahead and get into that one area. Now you need the helicopter for the pigs. So we need to go to all the trees. And there's only been one place in this whole entire level with trees. And that's the golf course. So here we go. Flying on up. And where the heck is the golf course from where we are right now? Oh, there it is. That's not bad. All right. And also, the way that you guys know that it's not like these little bushes and everything, all the little trees, is because, sure, there are bushes and little trees, but it says with all of the trees. There's only one place with all of the trees. Look at it. There's a tree. There's a tree. There's a tree. And also, you guys can see it already. You guys see that little spinning ring right there? That is where we're going. That is where you have to take all the pigs. Not necessarily to this ring. There are different rings all around the world. But each pig needs to go to its specific ring. Keep that in mind. But there we go. Done. Perfect. All right, little piggy. Brilliant. This is perfect vantage point for aiming the carpet design. For admiring. Why do I keep saying aiming. Probably because he's like an archer, but no, it's admiring the carpet design. Collect reward. Alright, cool. We've got a reward now. Grab this and we're done. But yes, it's admiring, not aiming. Quit thinking it's aiming. It's admiring. I can read, I swear. And the sad thing is, like, I'm catching it right after I say it, too. It's like, no, that's not it. Also, I just realized, too, I already have 90 corns. What? 
That is insane. I did not realize I had that many. Hello, little quills. I'll take you one here. I wasn't expecting you guys to be there, but I'll take that. I will definitely take it. Oh, they're, 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 look at the little quills right here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. They're just giving them to me now. Oh, you're so kind, game. Thank you so much. I will gladly take these quills as well. I see scoff a lot over there, too. I can go out and get the scoff a lot. But also, if you guys remember, these little blocks. Let's go ahead and smash these blocks up, too, since, I mean, that's kind of a thing that we need to do, right? Smash up those blocks. Perfect. And there we go. We have a nice little open area now. Yay. But here we go. Uh, scoff a lot. I see you over there. We're coming to visit you now, dude. Coming to visit you now. Hello, scoff a lot. Would you like to uh, request a ride? I think you would. Then again, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to handle you. You're kind of fat. Good day, Metal Warrior. I seek the great treasure. However, I'm currently burdened by my bloat. Because I'm fat. Will thou assist me in escorting the brave knight to his destination? Mmm, <laughs> candy cane. Five news, wicked warrior. The clue to my destination is thus. To get here, you must zoom and take me to the storage room. Got that? <laughs> yes. <sighs> candy cane, delicious. Alright, so basically what he's asking for, he's wants to take you to the storage room. Like, he just flat out tells you. However, what the game does not tell you is where the storage room is. This one, in particular, took me, I'm not even kidding, 30 minutes of me flying around with this stupid pig to find it. Come to find out, it's this simple. You come over here, there's Rexro's Arcade, right? So we're just going to start descending right here, start descending, start descending. Come on, Yuka, come on, Laylee, go down, guys, go down, guys. And there it is. Do you guys see that? I don't know how you're supposed to know this is the storage room. Until I, like, when I was flying around on my own and I saw that there was a old vending machine in here, I was like, oh, I guess you would store an old vending machine there. So I was like, there you go. That's got to be it then. A fine fight, warrior. Collect your reward on the way out. I'm still fat and I don't care. Go ahead and smash that. What is this now? Is this five, I think? I think that's five. I'm pretty sure that's five. Four or five. I don't know. I hope it's five, because if it's not, then I'm kind of in trouble, because I've already lost count, because I was talking a scoff a lot. Uh, it's kind of bad that I've lost count, but also, you got more bricks over here. Kind of, you can miss these if you're not paying attention, but look who it is. It's this one, the nothing to see here guy. What? I don't do nothing. You can't prove it. Hold up. Are you, are you, the, are you the geezer who given us loads of ditty squats? I still can't understand his little robber speech. Sorry, I can't. Lovely Jubilee! Er, you then, the uh, Ermy Clue. I don't understand what you're trying to say. You're like a pirate and a pig all mixed in one. Blast your way in. Don't even halt to sneak me in to the casino's vault. He's trying to give you a hint. You're blasting your way in. It's the only area where you have to blast your way in. We've already blasted our way in to get to scoff a lot, so we're just going to go ahead and go over there already. But you guys should know where we're going already. You guys should know. If not, it's fine. It's no big deal. But he already gave you the hint that you should know where to go. And plus, if you guys remember too, we're still looking for the little hopping pig as well. If you guys remember, that little hopping pig is kind of a big deal. We still need to find her. And she was on the floor. But coming on over here, we're going to the casino's vault. And if you guys notice too, right there's your ring. But also, there are coins up there, right? We have to go into the vault at some point to get those coins. But the vault is currently under construction. So it's kind of problematic. Just a little bit. But there you go, man. Give me my corns, please. Oh, uh, that ride was wicked. Er, you are then. Take your reward on the way out. I still don't understand what you're trying to say, dude. I don't speak Gangster Skilly Biscuit. I'm sorry. Maybe if I spoke Gangster Skilly Biscuit mixed with pig and, like, pirate, I'd understand it. Like... What, what would you even call that? Like, gangster pirate pig mix. Oh, there's another one. There's another little thing down here. I don't even know what that would even be. So, gangster G, pirate P, pig. So, GPP or PGP? I think that'd be better. PGP. There you go. PGP. That is what that pig is. He's a PGP. Pirate gangster pig. Yeah. PGP. Pirate gangster pig. Coming to you live this summer. Pirate gangster pig. It'd be a terrible, terrible movie and somehow it'd catch on. Everyone would love it somehow, some way. Hello, Murderbot. I'm going to get rid of you. That way you don't try to shoot me, please. And blow up this thing. And snag its corns. 
Oh, I heard her. Madam, I heard you. Where are you? Madam? I hear you, madam. Where are you? Madam? Madam? I don't know where you are, but you're up here somewhere. All right, madam. I will be back for you. I hear you, little lady. Pretty little lady, I hear you. There's also another little casino piece over here. Pretty sure this makes like six or seven. Pretty sure. Hopefully, it's still seven. Because I've still lost count. Not even going to lie about that. I've totally lost count with these. All right, here we go. So go ahead and grab this. And corns. Perfect. And fly on out. There's one over here that we're going to. You guys can see the one on top of the thing right by Kartos. And also, if you guys see two, there's one underneath. But more important than that, you guys can't see this one. But this is always the one that I tend to forget about. So I'm going to grab it right here right now. This one in here. This should be eight. And then if this is eight... That should be 9, and then 10 should be on top. So, yeah, I was at 7. That wasn't a bad guess, then. That was definitely not a bad guess at all. Go me. Go me for sure. All right, so coming on over here, let's go ahead and shoot this one right here. That should be 9, and then 10 should be inside of the dice itself. Great. And now grab the little dice one. And then this also should be the little hopscotch pig too, right? I think it's something like that right around here. It should be. So grab these. Thank you. And now where's that little pig? She should be... Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I thought it was somewhere else. I really thought it was somewhere else. I'm in the wrong spot for sure. All right, hopscotch pig. You're right around here, but you're in the different spot than where I'm at right now. Did I grab those quills up there? No, I did not. I should grab these quills first because I don't want to keep this marked. I already know that, or you guys should know this by now. I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure. I always have markers in all of my games, like, for where I need to return to. And this area is not one of them that I want to return to. Like, not this level particularly, but, like, this spot that I'm at right now. I do not want to come back here because this spot is completely unnecessary once you grab those quills. But I will come over here to grab these quills, finally. And the reason why I have these for a marker is because there's also something else we have to do here now as the helicopter. Only as a helicopter. So go ahead and grab these, go down, grab that one, grab those two, perfect. And now let's go ahead and fly back. I think there was only four, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's only four, perfect. But now that we're the helicopter, you guys see it? Do you guys see where we're going right now? You guys should, but in case you don't, look at it right there. Oh, well, I tried to get right beside it, but I kind of flew right by it. There it is, right there. The little booter fly. And just listen to this thing, just listen to it. Oh, yeah. It's nails on a chalkboard. Not that it bothers me or anything, but I know there's some people that are just like, Oh, turn it off! Turn it off! They hate the voice. But no, I'm actually okay with that voice. I still like it. Also, apparently that was only 9 that I had. That must have been 10. Unless I'm still off, and then I just suck. Because if I'm still off and I just suck, then, oh, man, that's going to be all kinds of bad. Because, oh, boy! Oh, boy! All right, blast you, little guy. Thank you. Grab... Oh, no, or not. I was going to say grab that quill. Okay, now we grab the quill. I wish I could be Yuka and Laylee up here. That way I could just, like, grab these and keep going. But no, I'm not done. I still got to find that other little piggy. Gotta get the other little piggy. That way I can keep on moving. Grab that. Bash you in, little bee. Thank you. What the heck hit me? Was there another stupid bee that shot me? Or was it that one that I just killed? Did he really just shoot me from all the way across there? Just, like, snipe shot? If he totally just, like, snipe shotted me, I'm going to be mad. There's another... Why is there another vending machine? Dude, was I really that far off? Hello, little ghosty. I don't even see you right here. Grab you. Dude, I should totally stop trying to count, though, because, oh, man, I, like, jumped in my vending machines, and I'm just crazy. Unless there's more than 10. I thought there was only 10, though. At least I only ever counted 10. I could be wrong. Maybe there's, like, 12 or something, but I thought there was only ever 10. I must have, like, really jumped in my numbers. I don't know. I could be completely crazy, but I'm pretty sure I only ever counted 10 of those things. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. It's no big deal. It really isn't a big deal at all. As long as I finish with 190 coins at the end, at, at the end, it doesn't really matter. All right, B, please do not shoot me. I'm not ready for you to shoot me yet. Okay, good. He didn't shoot me. I was concerned because he saw me. And he was like, ah, but he didn't shoot me. That's okay. Give me that quill. Perfect. That's 140. That's not bad. That really is not bad at all. And there's nothing on the floor. Yeah, good. Okay, so now we just got to find the little hopscotch pig still. Hopscotch pig, we gotta find you. I don't know where you are, girl. 
I know you're on the floor. I saw you once, but I don't know where you are now, to be completely honest. Where are you in retrospect as to where I am? I need to know this. I need to know this little hopscotch pig. I really do. Hello, Vendy. Have you seen Hot Shots Pig? I really hope so. Apparently, I missed these quills right here, too. So let's go ahead and grab these quills. It's part of the reason why I love this power-up, because you can just fly over the whole level and just see everything. Because things like that, where you just barely miss them, and you're like, oh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of nice. That way, you can just like, oh, I got it now. But hello, Hopscotch Pig. How are you? Talk to me. Greetings, noble flight creature. Will you help a knight of Hamelot with a simple travel quest? I will, actually. Excellent. Of course, the knight's code means that I can only offer a hint to my destination. Flying here won't be hard. Try your luck above the House of Cards. Got that? I do, actually. Let's go. So we got to go to the House of Cards, and i got to fly you above it. Here we go. Flying on up. And... Almost there, almost there, almost there. We are at the proper height. Yes, we are. All right, let's go straight. Here we go. Let's go, little pig. Gonna take you to the end. Gonna get you to where you need to be. I also see quills right there, which are really nice. And turn in the little piggy. Boop. There you go, little piggy. You're now turned in. Very good, mechanical dragon friend. Collect your reward. I know dragons love gold. Yeah, I do, dude. And also, I'm definitely okay with being called a dragon. Instead of a lizard, I am definitely okay with that. Mechanical dragon friend? I guess I have fire coming out of my butt, so I guess it's okay that I'm being called a dragon. However, getting shot by bees, that is not conducive to good health. I'll tell you that right now. That is definitely not conducive to good health. Grab that. And that one. Perfect. That's 46. Can I make it up to 50 or no? Probably not. I don't think I can. All right, bees. All right, bees. I tried to be nice with you. I was really hoping that you would just fly away, but no. No, you won't, because you're being jerks. Because you're all a bunch of jerks. Every last one of you are jerks. Grab that one. And is that it? That actually might be it, finally. I believe so. All right, well then, if that is it, let's go ahead now and return to the Mad Doctor herself. And we'll go ahead and get back to Yuka and Laylee, actually just to swap back to the helicopter. Which I know sounds really weird, why don't we just say the helicopter? Well, to be honest, if you guys haven't noticed yet, the transformation itself actually restores your health. So, if I go ahead and swap back to Yuka and Laylee, I'll have the exact same amount of health. But then if I swap back, I'll get another health boost, which is really nice. Because getting your free heal is really just that, a free heal. Can't complain about that. So here we go, go ahead and get swap back. And there you go. Nice little cheat, but at the same time, it's free health. I can't complain. Call it cheating if you want. I don't care. I'm taking free health if I can get it. But here we are, back onto the major area. And where is there he is? All right. So instead of me having to make a whole entire trek back to here, I want to go and talk to Cartos. But before I do that, I just remember, too, I left this marked because of these. Come over here, and... Corn. Perfect. And then, ready? Where is it? I can't see through Yuka. Grab that. There we go. That's 49. And 150. Perfect. I didn't stop on 150, but I don't care, actually. That's a kind of a nice number to stop on right there. Like, around 150? That's not bad. Really is not bad at all. Grab that. Grab that one. And I just love being able to cheat this and fly through it. It's so nice, dude. It really is. I mean, I get it. I'm cheating it. I don't care. Doing it my own way. I'll do it my way. That's exactly how I'm going to do it. Do it my way. 141? Okay. I was expecting it to end on 140, but it's all right. I guess if you really think about it, it's not that bad because the uh, the one that I got underneath the ramp, like I said, I always tend to forget about that one. So I'm kind of glad that I got it off already. So yeah, that's not bad. But all right, let's go ahead and swap back to Yuka and Laylee now and then talk to Kartos. Hello, Kartos. What up, buddy? Talk to me. Howdy, fellas. I'm glad to see you. Ain't just uh, ain't just me enjoying a sinful break in the Capital Casino. If Mr. C uh, if Mrs. Kartos found out about what was going on around here in the patrol in the clubs, I'd be in all hoops of trouble. 
I don't think you'd be able to get into those sort of places being a miner. Wow, I get it, because you know he's a miner and he's in a casino, and I get it. It's a joke. I get it. Wow, it's a terrible joke. Anyway, hope ain't nothing stopping you from having fun. So, you want to go for a ride? I do want to go for a ride, actually, Kartos. We're ready, Kartos. Let's hit the rails. Hoo ya! And then after, a few twirls and a monetary... Yeah, I, I don't really care about that one. We need 150 gems in this one. All right. It's not bad. Do you know the rules? Yes, I do. I don't need them. All right. Then let's do this. Also, guys, it's worth noting, this Kartos challenge is one of the hardest. And not because, oh, it's World 4. It's one of the hardest because there's actually a glitch in it. And when I say a glitch, I do mean like a solid glitch. Uh, there's actually a point in this game where it can crash out because of this Kartos and not give you the pagey. So, in case there's going to be a very awkward cut here or something after I beat this Kartos mission, it's because it didn't give me the pagey. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I get it so I don't have to... Oh, jeez. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Hopefully, I don't have to make the awkward cut because I'll get the pagey. But in case I don't, I'm just warning you guys now. There are two pages like always. Um for the Rextro, and there's always one pagey for Kartos. You guys already know this. So, again, if you don't have three pages before turning anything in, then... I don't know why I went slow on that. I, need, I needed to go fast, and I went slow. But yeah, if you don't have three pages, then you're in trouble, because that's the problem. Again, it's a glitch with this level. They already said that they know about it, so don't everyone be like, oh, great, well, that just ruined this game for me. I'm not going to get it now. Don't let me talk you out of it because of a simple bug. They're already said that they know about it, so it's going to be fixed. I'm just telling you right now, in case there's an awkward cut or something that I'm going to have to make, you guys know why. I hate that I got hit by that bee because I couldn't jump. After you get hit by the bee, you can't jump. I got to get the timing, man. That's what it comes down to. I have to get the timing. It's been so long since I've done this Kartos challenge. I just, as soon as I find the timing, I'll be fine. But until I find that timing, it's like, ugh, grr. All right, here we go. I'm going to blast that barrel. Grab this, go down, grab that one, dodge the bee, perfect. And now, super fast, grab all those. Screw you, bee. I took the damage, which sucks, but why didn't... Okay, okay. I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing right now, because apparently I'm doing terrible. Slow it down, grab all those, go fast, thank you. Grab that one. I'm going to take the damage, but it's fine. All right, now comes the hard one. Slow it down. Dang it. I almost had that one. I almost had that one. Watch out for the leaf. Yeah, perfect. Grab that one. Grab that one. Okay, I have 67. Doing kind of bad. I should have about 80 right now, just so you guys know for, like, retrospect. Slow it down. Grab those gems. Perfect. Smash that barrel. Grab those. I smashed the wrong barrel, didn't I? Yes, I did. That sucks. That really sucks, but it's okay. I'm going to fail it this time for sure, because I need 100 and... I think it said 150. I hate this whole entire little cart section, too. Like, this whole entire bottom part sucks, because, fun fact... After you cross the finish line, you're not done, because those things still shoot fire when they're done. It splits fire for, like, a split second. And believe it or not, even though it's a split second, that split second can still affect you. Because they'll still go through the ring. So it's like that one right there. You guys see I had to jump into the ring? That was the problem. If I didn't jump there, I would have taken damage. And if you had just enough gems, you would have had to lose them, which kind of sucks. So keep that in mind. It still does affect you. Because it's not considered a cutscene that you're going into. It's an after animation. And because it's an after animation, then it still can hurt you. Keep that in mind. I cannot stress that enough. I lost like three times because of that when I was first playing this game. Blast that beat. Ugh, uh, dang it. I thought I was going to blast him. I really thought I was going to blast him. If I would have blasted him, I would have been fine because I could have got that gem. But I didn't blast him. Grr. All right. I just want to get past that bee, dude. I really just want to get past that bee. That's all I want to do. That's all I really want to do. Get over here. Grab that gem. Bounce on that bee. And now here comes the bee that I keep dying to. Ready? Grab that. Blast him. Ha ha! I got past him. I got past him. I did. I still died because I didn't grab the gem, but I got past him. Do you guys see that? I was amazing. And know what I just thought of, too? I don't think I've ever gotten that gem. Now that I think about it, I really don't think I've ever gotten that gem. And the reason why is because I think you need to slow down there. I just thought of that. So I think you need to go fast and then slow. So I was like, this one's normal, right? This one's normal. You now have to go fast right here. And you have to go normal. Great. And now I'm thinking you have to... That was the bee. That was the bee. Did he just stay dead? Did that bee just stay dead and didn't come back? I think he did. I will definitely take that. I will definitely take that. Cool. Grab that gem. I take the damage, which sucks, but I will do it. 
Slow it. Dang it. I almost had it. I almost had it. Watch it for the leaf because the leaf is going to kill you. Grab that gem. Slow it down. Grab that. Perfect. Hit the B, which sucks. There you go. I have 80 gems that time. Like I said, you should have about 80. Slow down here. Grab all of these gems. That should take you out to about 125, so I'm still behind slightly. But it's okay. I should have got those double gems too, but I didn't. Grab those. I didn't grab those double gems. That was my problem. I would have been fine if I would have grabbed the double gems, but I didn't. So I'm... If I win this one, it's going to be tight. But if I lose it, it's understandable. Like I said, I missed the double gems. Dodge those. Dodge that. Dodge that. Slow it down. Grab that. Go, go, go. Grab three. Ready, jump. Ready, jump. Ah, dang it. Oh, I, li I finished it. I finished it right on there. Oh, my gosh. Right on it. Right on it. Holy cow. I should have slowed it down, but that's fine. I got it. All right, let me guess. A club? No, sir. I'm over that. I was never the same after the golf cart broke my heart. Wow, poor Kartos. He really does have a heart. Also, I just realized behind me, look directly behind Kartos. That guy's peeing. He's still peeing. He's going strong. He is peeing strong. Got the pagey. Nice. Got the pagey. All right, that's three. Perfect. Also, hello. Uh, bzz, halt, security alert. Casino rules clearly state pages can only be awarded by... Handsome cashier, you six are in big trouble. A six? Bzz. Unblur yourselves. My sensors are having a right mar with the lighting in here. I think there's a mistake. Maybe you should calm down and log off. Bzz. Bog off. Nobody gives casino security that level of sass. Prepare to be made obsolete. Your adventure ends here. All right, guys, so basically this is Inept, the short-sighted supercomputer. Inept is basically Mama version of Murderbot. This is Mama Murder, in other words. Eminem, this is Eminem. When she turns red, you have to shoot. And if you do not, she will still hurt you. Also, dodge the red balls. Fun fact, besides that, Inept is also the boss of World 4. So, in case you're wondering, like, oh, where's the boss? No, this is the boss of World 4. You have to fight her on Kartos, which can be easy if you know how to use Kartos, or can be hard if you don't know how to use Kartos. Oh yeah, it's kind of problematic. Dodge, dodge, I'm going too fast, going too fast, going too fast. Shoot that one, perfect. That was really close, but I got it. Shoot you again. That was also really close. I should have shot that a little bit sooner because I could have got hurt by Mama Murder there. All right, here we go. Shoot. Go, go, go. Dang it. I was going too fast, I knew I was. Just like I said last time, I was going too fast. There's, like, a point. I've done this boss so many times, like, you know that you're going too fast. That's the problem. Got it. Perfect. Mama Murder's gonna launch now? Yeah. There you go, Mama Murder. Mama Murder gets blasted. Mama Murder gets blasted. All right, here we go. Go. Now, this one's gonna have a double one at the very last second that's going to throw you off. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Boom. Like I said, I've done this boss so many times. I know all about Mama Murder. All right, now she's going to be real salty, right? And she's going... Yeah, I was going to say. She's going to be real salty and try to do a little tricky one, right? Yeah, got it. Yeah, dang it. She got me with the trick, though. She got me with the trick. I even said it, and she got me with the trick still. But it's okay. Now she's going to move on to her next phase, because you know how bosses have phases. Here we go. Hello, Mama Murder. Hello, Madam. You're beautiful. Bzz. You have stepped into close now. Move back a bit. Prepare to attack phase two. All right, so here we go. Mama Murder is now in attack phase two. Basically, what she does is she's going to do that. She's going to ram you both ways. Keep in mind, you have to go fast to get over her, or you have to go slow to go over her. She is going to ram you, though. There is no way around it. You have to be prepared to jump over her. I suggest just keep shooting. Just keep shooting until she goes down and then get ready to jump because it's very hard to shoot and then jump. I can do it. It's just very risque. And I mean, it's super risque. It's super dirty, and I, I'm not ready for that type of dirt yet. Really not ready for that type of dirt yet. But all right, Mama Murder. All right, Mama Murder. When she goes around for the third time, this will be the third time now, she's also going to do something a little different. Prepare. So she's going to go slow, and then she's going to launch. Oh, yeah. You won't believe how many times that it took me to learn that one. I am so glad that I know her patterns, because, oh, man, did it take me forever to learn her. Yeah. <laughs> it took me forever to learn her patterns. It really did. Are you dead, Mama Murder? Yeah, you are. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. I cannot believe I'm doing this well this time. I never do this well, but I'm, I'm actually doing decently well right now. 
Give up, you piece of junk. Ahem. The tr I... Ahem? No. I'm the track king. My tracking what? A few missiles will teach you some manners. All right, Mama Murder. Go for it. Mama Murder is going to fire a missile. And basically what you have to do, do not destroy the missile. Jump over them. She will not go in front of you. You have to dodge all of her missiles, and she will go after herself, basically. Also, it's worth noting, she doesn't just fire them off one at a time. She does it like this sometimes, too. Threes you need to go fast over. She'll also put brakes in them, too, that you're going to have to slow down with, and sometimes you're just going to have to bite the bullet and shoot them if you can't control it. Dang it. I jumped a little too soon on that one. All right, there's a double break. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm still watching her. I wasn't counting. Invincibility frames just saved my butt on that one. I won't even lie. Okay, one, two, three. Got this super jump. I went too early. I definitely went too early. I've got two hits. I did so good so far. Don't let this be the end of me. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, that's it. Mama Murder's dead. One. I've never done that one shot. Oh, boom. That's not how it's supposed to end. Inep cannot believe this has been the defeat by a green badger and his purple dragon. Oh, ho, ho, yes. And there's number four. Done. Oh my gosh, I've never done it that well. Holy crap, that makes me so happy, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Oh, we cleared out inept. If you want to go on the gym challenge for fun, now you can. Oh my gosh, I've never done that one and done. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, how many hits do I have? Oh, I even have that tonic on there for nothing. I could have taken one more hit and been fine. Oh my gosh, guys, do you know how happy I am right now? Oh my gosh, I am so happy right now. Wow. Like, holy cow, wow. Oh my gosh. All right, well, murder about I killed your mom. Sorry, buddy. I love you still. Don't hate me. Fendi, I'm here for you, madam. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well then, what tonic do I want now then? Now that I've done that. Um, baller, no. Extra health from butterflies. Gain more power body slam. Regenerate faster. No damage. Hold your breath for longer underwater. You know what? It's time for Hunter. And Hunter will be the one that we use through the rest of the game. Because it allows you to find rare items. Finally my time to use my favorite one. We're going into the last level now after all. So guys, it's time to use my favorite tonic. And probably the most useful tonic for all, like, completionists out there. And I'm not just saying that because I consider myself a completionist. No, I'm being serious. This, in my own opinion, is probably the best tonic. It does absolutely nothing to help you. But it does everything to help you when it comes down to getting all the collectibles within a level. So keep that in mind. Also, it's worth noting, I will not be turning in my coins because it's easier for me to see 190 instead of having to do the math and be like, oh crap, do I have them all? So that makes anyone mad. I'm sorry, but I'll be back for this level obviously later. But guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Grand Tome. If it lets me. It's not going to let me. It's not going to let me go in the Grand Tome. Game? Are you not going to let me go in there? I'll eat your other butterfly, but then... Okay, that was weird. It wouldn't let me go in at first. But guys, with that being said, next time on Ukulele, I I'm still on a high right now because I beat that guy in one shot. I've never done that. Oh my gosh. But guys, next time on Ukulele, we're going to start out World 5. We're going to get everything there. We're going to move on out, clean up the world, and oh my gosh, guys... Oh, I'm on top of the world right now. I feel so good right now. Ah, I love it. But either way, guys, thank you all so much for coming out, everyone. I had so much fun in that level, and I really hope you guys appreciated it, because I did it pretty well, if you ask me. But guys, thank you so much for coming. And until next time, or not, apparently not, what's going on? Hello, Trouser? Please come find me again when you're ready for the more... Or when you're in the mood for some top deals. I was going to say more top deals, but apparently no. It's just when you're in the mood. Either way, though, guys, with this nice glowing angelic light coming down on us or coming up from under us, but either way, guys, we're here. We've done it. We're out, guys. Thank you so much for coming out, everyone. I really love that level. Oh, I can't wait to expand it. Guys, thank you so much for coming. And until next time, OGM... Signing out.